I guess I've always been interested in world building, you know, from playing with Lego and, you know, playing with early computer tools and then with my interest in virtual reality. But then I found this parallel space out in the desert. As an artist, it's very nice to get out of an environment like New York and go out to the desert. In 94, a friend from NYU suggested, oh, come out to this event in the desert, I'm gonna burn this thing. And the main thing there was the sculpture of the man. What I liked about the playa was just the openness. No plants, you know, nothing growing, just this, this plain, parched earth for hundreds of square miles. The blankness to me was what was very exciting, and the emptiness and the potential. It wasn't until 1997 that I made my first light sculpture using a microcontroller and 16 strobe lights. And that was for you know, a very practical reason. Well, Leo first started creating his art as really a beacon, as a way to get home. <laughs> because if you've been to Burning Man before, you know that sometimes it's hard to find home uh, in the dark. I didn't really even think of it as a sculpture. And I didn't really realize what I had done until I got it back to New York and put it on the wall and put a, a diffused plexi case over it, that I was really on to something. And, and that changed my whole path. Want more Truly California? Visit us online to keep up with the local film scene, stream full documentaries, and submit your film to Truly California. <laughs>